My name is Stephen Kilgannon, I'm a Garda trainee in the Garda College in Templemore and I'm from Sligo originally. I went to school in St Mary's Secondary School in Ballastadere. When I came out of St Mary's Secondary School I decided I wanted to do voluntary work. I always had the main aim of joining the Guards in the future so at the time the recruitment ban had come in and unfortunately I couldn't join then so I decided to do something and be proactive and go on and do voluntary work. I set up a couple of animal rescues in Sligo Town itself. Uh, started with Sligo Animal Rescue and then went on to Sligo Wildlife Aid. Then I took up line dancing with a group of uh, women who all suffer with various forms of Down syndrome. So when I decided to join the Garda Reserve, my training then was a two-week phase down in the Garda College in Templemore. That Over that two weeks you went over law, you went over um, ethics within a Garda Síochána, uniformity, punctuality, all of the things that really make on Garda Síochána the organisation that it is. As a Garda Reserve you've seen both sides, you spent two weeks in the Garda College, you can then go out and experience what's going on outside. Then when you go into the Garda College as a full-time trainee, you know what to expect when you leave. In the first month of being in the Garda College, you go through, again, you're back to ethics, uh, punctuality, uniform. Um, basically, the baseline for on Garda Síochána, um, we're just starting to touch in the last week or two on law. We're starting to touch on communication, effective communication, which obviously is a huge factor within Garda Síochána. You're dealing with people on a daily basis, so you need to be able to communicate with them. For now, we just have a couple of assignments to be doing, and we're, it's mostly done in groups. So you're just organising an evening time meeting. It might last an hour, it might last two hours, but as long as you get the work done together, you know that when you go back to your room, you have nothing to worry about. The facilities within the college are very much geared towards what you're going to be expected of you outside. Your fitness is a huge aspect of Angarda Síochána, so there's a full, fully equipped gym within the Garda College. You get a gym induction in order to use that. You also have a pool, which used to be an old diving pool, so it's quite deep at the deep end. You're swim graded on that as well. Uh, there is a recreational hall which is used for table tennis and just gatherings of people in the evening time. Within the college then itself you have like role play units which are very realistic, they're done with actors. Um, you also have a courtroom which is used for role plays as well. As part of our accommodation we also have food built in and on our breaks we would make use of the on-site restaurant. So also on site we have the driving school, we have the parade square where we do parade each morning. Um, we also have an on-site shop which sells everything you need really to be living in and you also have the library upstairs which you can use for study or access and printing facilities. Advice that I would have for anybody interested in joining the guards, if you, I would tell them join the Garda Reserve. You see what it's like on the street, you see what full-time members are going through and to be totally honest with you, if you do the Garda Reserves, you know you won't drop out of the full-time.